Hello everyone. In this class, I will discuss the application of Thevenin's theorem and Newton, Newton's theorem. There is a problem, and in this problem, we have to calculate the current flowing through the galvanometer having resistance 2 ohm by applying Thevenin's theorem and Newton's theorem. This is actually a Wheatstone B circuit, and using Thevenin's theorem and Newton theorem, we have to calculate the current through the galvanometer in imbalance condition. Okay, so first I will solve the problem by using Thevenin's theorem. Okay, and in this Thevenin's theorem, uh, first we have to calculate the Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance. And for the calculation of the Thevenin's resistance, the circuit can be drawn as this circuit. Okay, so the Potential difference between the A and B is the Thevenin's voltage. So, to calculate the Thevenin's voltage, first we have to calculate the potential at the point B and the potential at the D with respect to A and the difference between the potential at B and D will be the Thevenin's voltage. So, what will be the potential at B? For the calculation of the potential at B, we have to ignore the lower path. So, the potential at B with respect to A can be written as in this part the total resistance is 2 plus 3 5 ohm and the supply voltage is 10. So, the current in the path is 5 into 2, the potential drop across 2. Okay. So, 5 2, this is equal to 4 volt. This is the potential at B with respect to A. Now, the potential at D with respect to A, then we have to ignore the upper path. And in this path, there is also total resistance 4 plus 1, 5 ohm. So, the potential at D with respect to A is 5 into 4. This is equal to 8 volt. Okay. So, the potential at B with respect to A is 4 volt and the potential at D with respect to A is 8 volt. So, the potential difference between the point A and B is the Thevenin's voltage and this is equal to Vt is equal to Vab, this is equal to uh, V8 volt minus 8 minus 4 and this is equal to 4 volt. Okay. So, this is the Thevenin's voltage. Now, for the calculation of Thevenin's resistance, we know the Thevenin's resistance is the resistance between the terminals when all the energy source replaced by their internal resistance and since they have the energy source is a 10 voltage source and this is ideal, ideal source. So, the internal resistance is zero. So, for the calculation of Thevenin's resistance, the, the circuit can be redrawn as this. We have to sort the power supply. Okay. So, this is the circuit for which we can calculate the Thevenin's resistance and the resi resistance between the terminal A and B, this is the Thevenin's resistance. And this circuit can be redrawn as, because here A and C is sort, so this circuit can be written as in this way. In this way, here 2 ohm, 3 ohm, this is A point and this is B point, this is 4 ohm, this is 1 ohm. Okay. This circuit also can be redrawn as Okay, because here these two points, this is C and sorry, this is A and this is C, this is sorted. So, this is the point and this is 2 ohm, this is 3 ohm, this is 4 ohm, this is ohm. This is the point A and this is the point B. So, the 
resistance between the terminal A and B and this will be the Thevenin's resistance RT and this will be 2 into 3 by 2 plus 3 plus 4 into 1 by 4 plus 1 and this is equal to 6 by 5 plus 4 by 5 and this is equal to 10 by 5 and this is equal to 2 ohm. So the Thevenin's resistance of the circuit is 2 ohm and Thevenin's voltage is 4 volt. So the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. What will be the Thevenin's equivalent circuit? According to the Thevenin's theorem, this can be replaced as Thevenin's voltage and resistance connect in series. Here Thevenin's voltage is Vt is equal to 4 volt and Rt equal to 2 ohm and the here load resistance is galvanometer and the resistance of the galvanometer is 2 ohm. So the current flowing through the galvanometer IL equal to 4 volt by the total resistance in the circuit is 2 plus 2 this is equal to 1 ampere okay. So this is the galvanometer current. Now I will solve the problem by using Norton's theorem. Uh, for Norton's theorem, we know the circuit is replaced by current source and Norton resistance in parallel and here first we have to calculate the Norton current and Norton current is the uh, sorted current between the terminals. So the circuit, equivalent circuit for the calculation of the Norton current will be I have to sort the galvanometer and this will be the Norton current. This is 10 volt, this is 4 ohm, this is 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm. Suppose the current in this loop is I and part of the current through this path and this is I4 and this is I2 this is sorry this is I3 and this is I4 also this can be this circuit can be drawn as This is the equivalent circuit of this circuit. This is 2 ohm, this is 4 ohm, 3 ohm and 1 ohm and here 10 volt. Okay. So first I have to calculate the I. What will be the value of I? I equal to what will be the resistance between these two points? The resistance is R equal to 2 into 4 by 6 plus 3 into 1 by 4. Okay. So 8 by 6 
प्लस थ्री बाय फोर और फोर थ्री टू इंटू फोर ओके टू इंटू फोर बाय फोर टू इंटू फोर टू इंटू फोर बाय सिक्स थ्री इंटू वन बाय फोर सो दिस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व बाय सिक्सटीन बाय नाइन सो दिस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय ट्वेल्व ओके सो दिस इज द टोटल रेजिस्टेंस एंड द सप्लाई वोल्टेज सो द आई इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सो दिस इज द रेजिस्टेंस टेन बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय ट्वेल्व एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू टेन इंटू ट्वेल्व बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव सो so this is 24 by 5 okay so this is the i then part of the current flowing through two ohm so what will be the value of i1 i1 equal to applying the shunted rule at the point so 24 by 5 into 4 the resistance of the other r 4 by total resistance total resistance is 6 so 16 by 5 ampere okay so this is the value of the current that flowing through the two ohm and the part of the current flowing through three ohm and part of the current to the shorted path so what will be the i2 this is i1 and this is i2 in this path the total current is again i the sum of the current through the two ohm and current through the four ohm will be again i so what will be the value of i2 the value of i2 will be uh, total current is 24 by 5 into the current through the 3 ohm means the resistance of the other arm by total resistance is 4 so 4 this is equal to 6 by 5 ampere okay so the Value of the current flowing through the two ohm is 16 by 5 ampere, and part of the current passing through the three ohm and rest amount passing through the shorted path. So the difference of I2 and I1 gives the Newton current. So the Newton current I n will be I1 minus I2, and this is equal to the I1 equal to this is I1. I1 equal to 16 by 5 minus I2 is equal to 6 by 5. So 10 by 5 or this is equal to 2 amperes. So the Newton's current is 2 amperes. Now I have to calculate the Newton resistance and actually not only resistance is the resistance between the terminals a and b and so for the calculation of the not only resistance circuit can be redone as this and we have to replace the source by short so the already have calculated the value of the resistance between the terminal a and b and we solve the problem by using thevenin's theorem and so the resistance between the terminal a and b and this is the newton resistance and also also this is equal to the thevenin's resistance same value so rn equal to uh, the resistance between the terminal 
these two points are short so rn will be the parallel combination of 2 and 3 and parallel combination of 4 and 1 so 2 into 3 by 2 plus 3 plus 4 into 1 by 4 plus 1 okay so 6 by 5 plus 4 by 5 and this is equal to 10 by 5 2 so this is the 2 and 2 ohm so this is the not on resistance so what will be the uh, not on equivalent circuit of this one not on equivalent circuit this is the current source not on current i n and we already know the value 2 ampere and this is the not on resistance and it is even parallel to the current source okay and this is the galvanometer having resistance 2 ohm this is 2 ohm here the current is 2 ohm and uh, in this path the value of the current is 2 ohm and there is two path so current is divided in two path but i want to calculate the current this is the galvanometer okay and what will be the value since the uh, both path having same resistance so the current flowing in each path will be half of it so the current il 2 equal to 2 by 2 plus 2 and this is equal to 1 ampere so this is the value of the galvanometer current using uh, norton's theorem and also uh, we get the value of the galvanometer current by using thevenin's theorem and both process gives the same result okay so the process is correct thank you